Hi, this is Matthew Hoffman. For everyone out there that's been wondering what I've been up to for the last five years, stay tuned. I'm going to share with you. Might have something to do with this. We specialized in renovating custom trailers. Old, new, Airstreams were our specialty. In fact, we probably renovated over 400 Airstreams over a decade from about 20, uh, 20, 2009 all the way through 2019. Now, right around 2017, we made a transition. After renovating so many different travel trailers, buses and vans and all sorts of stuff out there, we had this idea that we wanted to create something bigger and better and more purpose built for everything that everyone out there was wondering, how could we do better? How can we create something that was designed specifically for all the things that our customers were asking for? Um, and what we realized is that we wanted to create a space that was purpose built for full-time living. You see, my wife and I at the time, well, still I'm with my wife, Joanna Hoffman, we, we had been living in small spaces for over a decade, and most of those were Airstreams. Now, over that time, and all the collective awareness of both just our living in these spaces, but also working with customers uh, that all wanted these renovations done, we came up against barriers and things that we needed to change. And we always wanted to make some modifications to shells or we wanted to make bigger changes than we had the ability to do in these vintage trailers. So we thought to ourselves, well, why don't we start at square one? And that's exactly what we did. So in 2017, we started a new company called Living Vehicle and we designed a beautiful trailer, the best out there that's now in the market today. And for the last five years, we've been designing Living Vehicle and that's what I'm standing in Front of right now. This is the latest and greatest Living Vehicle 2023. This is a Pro EV model and I'm going to give you a tour of this Pro EV today to share with you some of the great features and exactly what we've been up to for the last five years. So number 10 in the top 10 features of the Living Vehicle review. First one, here is the patio deck. Now this is a self-supporting patio deck. It's rated for 1,500 pounds. And something that I always wanted when I was living in Airstreams at the time was a space to enjoy outdoors. Now camping's all about getting outside, enjoying, getting out in the dirt, but there was always a lot of times when Joanna and I would be out in nature and wanting to walk down those stairs to cook a meal out here on the barbecue. Now, what happened, it was this one time when I was walking down the stairs of an Airstream and I was carrying a plate of food. And on that food, that plate was a big roast that I was gonna cook on the barbecue, also a bunch of knives. Now, as I was walking down those stairs, I tripped, that plate went flying and I vaguely remember vaguely, very clearly remember, one of those knives went straight down and landed in the ground and it's still in my brain to this day. That was the moment where I had the idea of a patio deck. Now we explored those on Airstreams back in the day, but we have implemented this. It's a fully self-supporting, there is nothing there but these cables. Now what this is designed to do is to allow you to an outdoor space where you can enjoy with your family and friends. Uh, it is rated for 1,500 pounds, so you can fit a lot of folks on here. You can cook outdoors, bring the indoors out, and you'll see right there one of the things we learned with all of our renovations were an eight-foot patio slider. We always believe to open the outdoors, bring the outdoors to the inn, and blur the distinction be between indoor and outdoor space. Number nine in this living vehicle review is what I call the spa bathroom. Now in all my experience living on the road with Joanna is that we always placed a high value on the bathing experience of a travel trailer. Come on inside and I'll share with you what we've done here. So the living vehicle is designed for full-time use and this bathroom space is no exception. We designed this to be very luxurious and enjoyable. Now mind you, first thing to note, I am six foot five. I am wearing uh, some shoes today, so I'm about six foot six. This ceiling is six eight, so you have a lot of headroom. This spa bathroom has lots of beautiful features. The shower is huge. It has a skylight directly above it. Take a look at this. One of the things that I always was challenged with when living in Airstream trailers, boats, buses, and vans is that I always struggled with headroom. Now in this space, I have a shower that goes up to about seven foot, and above that, I can extend my arms all the way up to the ceiling. It has a skylight directly above it. Now in with this, we also have macerator electric flush toilets, lots of storage, both above the medicine cabinet, below the sink here. We have a lit mirror anti-fog technology, dimmable lamp. We have all sorts of vents, HVAC in the ceiling. We have a towel warmer here. We also have electric heat in the floor. 
take a look at this. This is a wood mat. This is made up of black walnut. It's right here. It's floor level. So you can have the shower curtain extend out and you have a 32 inch by 36 inch shower. It's huge. It's generous. This is a true spa bath. Number eight of this top 10 living vehicle review list is what I call the livability or the ceiling height and the livability of living vehicle. Now, living vehicle is designed as a full-time living space. Now, some of the features there is that you cannot move out of it. You got to live in it with all your stuff, all your possessions. And one of the core features there is to make it as functional as possible. Now, with all the years of my Airstream renovations and my travel trailer renovations and a couple buses and vans, I learned that there was a severe lacking in the industry of products because primarily they were designed for what's called recreational use. Of course, it's not confusing, it's not even surprising, it's called the RV industry after all. So if you're gonna design a product to go out and enjoy for a weekend or maybe a week max, it's gonna be designed for recreational use. Now, what does that mean? It's designed fundamentally to go out and enjoy for a short period of time. Also, recreational vehicles tend to be what's called three season vehicles, where you go out in the spring, the summer, and the fall, and a little bit of bridge into winter, but primarily not designed for winter. Now, if you're gonna live in a full-time space, not only do you have to live year round, but you also have to live with a lot of your things. So. Livability. We learned everything from all of our 400 projects that we designed for customers all, ac all across the world. And we took all that knowledge and all of the experience that Joanna and I had living in full, full time in all of these small spaces, and we put that into the living vehicle. I'm going to point out just a few of these amazing, amazing livability features here today. So take a look here. We're in the primary living space. This, there is actually an island here that you see is outside on the patio deck right now. That island is portable. You can pull that in and out through this eight foot patio slider. It mounts right here to the floor and that is adaptable. It moves in and out depending on how you use it. Now that outdoor patio that I already added to the list uh, is one of the main features. That comes up and down, it, it, the railing collapses and you can just walk right out there. It really is just an extension of the indoor space. The indoor kind of heart of the unit is this open floor plan. So you have a lot of space here. Joanna regularly did yoga here when it was raining. Otherwise, she'd be outside enjoying. Also, we have a little dog named Luca. Uh, she would be outside, kind of in the pen, just enjoying the sun. Now, this central space is flanked by both the living and dining area, also the kitchen. Now, one of the things we learned with all of our Airstream and other renovations is that an open floor plan really served best. We want to have separate spaces within the unit because we found that a bedroom to one extreme side of the unit created a nice private living space for the, no, sorry, a bedroom space for the, the occupants so that they could have privacy. Separated by a bathroom and the living space is kind of this great room, if you will, in one side of the trailer. Now we have windows flanked on all sides for great light. Light is a very important part of living vehicle. And then we also have light flooding in from the eight foot patio slider. Now the kitchen itself has tons of storage and you see lots of great features here that you would not typically find in trailers. We have a dishwasher here. This is a drawer style dishwasher by Fisher Paykel. And this is set, has settings for up to six. The great thing about that is one load of dishes can use only about one gallon of water. Uh, if you compare that to a setting of six, you'd be using probably five or more gallons of water if you washed them by hand. We also have a dual style oven and stove combo. We have lots of overhead storage. And take a look at this. This is what's called a Euroloft. This goes up and down. This is what's called the hidden sleeping space or the hidden guest bedroom. This is not the primary sleeping space. This is a secondary guest room so that if you ever have guests come over, push a button that comes down. It'll come all the way down to about here, connect a ladder and you jump right up. Why don't you come over here? I'll show you the refrigerator. Take a look at this. One of the things I learned in all my days at Hoffman Architecture was that the refrigerator was always too small. A seven foot cubic refrigerator was generous, I found. And so we maxed it out with an all electric 13 cubic foot refrigerator, all stainless steel, and it's also all electric. This is powered by the sun. Living vehicle is fundamentally an electric product. Take a look at this pantry. The quality of cabinetry in LV is phenomenal and the amount of storage we have to match. Come over here and take one look inside the bedroom. This bedroom area is designed to be ultimately peaceful, serene, private, 
We have a 48 inch by 30 inch skylight directly overhead. I say, starlight is the best sleep medicine. We have a four foot closet, washer and dryer combination, stand up area for folding laundry, full size dresser here, and of course the bed lifts up for all sorts of storage underneath. This is a true queen size bed, no short beds here. Livability and being able to reside full time inside of a unit living is one of living vehicles absolute fortes. Number seven on my top 10 list of living vehicle review items is storage capacity. Now on vintage trailers, storage is always lacking, primarily because they were designed to be a little smaller, a little more traditional, and they prioritized other things. You know, when you look at living vehicle, it's a larger profile, a larger unit. It's designed for full-time living. Now I'm gonna take you through a few of the storage compartments on LV. Take a look at this. This goes all the way through from one side to the other. This is a eight foot deep by 60 inch wide storage unit. That is a pass through compartment. Come on back here. I'll show you a couple other areas for storage. This is another pass through. This does exactly the same thing. Just put the camera in there. Here I am on the other side. This again is eight feet deep. It's about two foot by two foot. You could put a bunch of skis in here, firewood, what have you. Come around this side. We have another access here. This is the other side of that storage area that goes all the way through. You can see we have a ton of storage there. And I'll show you a couple other compartments right up here on the front. Here's some more storage. This is a storage compartment. It's also optional for a generator. But one of the things that I learned is that if you're gonna live full time, you need a lot of space to store all your stuff. Let's take a quick look inside and I'll show you some more storage areas. So the kitchen, all these drawers are open and accessed for storage. One of the things that I learned in tra travel trailers typically is that a lot of the things that look like storage aren't actually storage at all because they have things like water heaters, furnaces, all sorts of stuff that isn't actually storage. This is a pantry, trash compartment, drawer for pots and pans, all sorts of cutlery and utensils, open storage underneath. All of our appliances are down below inside this hatch. This is what's called the bilge or the basement where we put all of our sensitive electronics, energy system, all sorts of stuff lives down there so it doesn't take up any of that valuable cabinet space. Number six on this living vehicle review of the top 10 features is tank capacity. Now when I say tanks, I mean water tanks. That's both fresh water and waste tanks. Now on most trailers that I experienced, they kind of maxed out around 50 gallons was the biggest and that just wasn't enough. Now on living vehicle, every single LV that we produce has 100 gallons of water, fresh water. Now it has a black and a gray tank to boot. Uh, both of those are, let's see, 62 gallons for the gray and for the black tank is 45. So those are a surplus of 100, so you have a little extra capacity there. Now for all of those that don't have, that say you're, you're going to use the rain shower head a little bit too much or you just want a plethora of water available, uh, one of the features on Living Vehicle 2023 for the first time ever in the industry is what's called water generation. That means water creation or water from air. That's right, for the first time ever in the industry we installed a water generation system on Living Vehicle that is available for the 2023 model going forward so you can create from the humidity in the air, extract humidity out of the air and fill up your fresh water tank for the purest water you've ever seen or drank. Uh, and you can just create that up to five gallons per day wherever you go down to 20% relative humidity. Number five on my top 10 list of living vehicle features is sustainability. Now, living vehicle is built with sustainability in mind. Of course, it is a product that is designed to last a lifetime. All the structure in the entire vehicle is made from aluminum. That's both the chassis, the frame, the walls, the joists, everything you touch, everything you see, all the cabinetry, it's all aluminum. Now because of this, recycled content and lifespan is extremely sustainable. Now one of the 
as a, as a lead accredited professional and an architect in the state of California, I'm passionate about not only building a sustainable product, but a healthy product. And uh, some of the cer certifications that Living Vehicle has re recently obtained is a indoor air quality certification to meet the standards of lead indoor air quality. Now we've had certified industrial hygienists come and test Living Vehicles over a series of LV generations. And to, we have a certification now that meets lead standards. So healthy spaces is something that Living Vehicle is passionate about. Number four on this top 10 list of a Living Vehicle review, the best features, the solar awning. Now in my experience, when building trailers, something that always was requested was awnings. And traditionally, this is something that's been around for a very long time. Now, I have a bit of a bittersweet love-hate relationship with awnings. In all my travels and living in small spaces all across the US, I realized awnings drove me nuts. That's because every time I was traveling and I'd pull that expensive awning out, or if I had a motorized awning, it's great, push, push a button, it comes out. Every time the wind picked up, what seemed like more than 10 or 15 miles an hour, the awning would be flapping all over the place and it was basically one giant sailcloth. Now what happened there is, I remember very vividly, a couple times we had that awning basically pick up and it ripped those two pins and the connection points where the awning came down to the trailer, it ripped those off as well. Next thing I knew, the awning was flapping around in the wind and it damaged not only the awning itself, but the rest of the trailer. So awnings are great when you need shade, but they're very susceptible to damage. Also, they're very expensive to replace. Not only the awning, but the trailer that gets damaged when an awning has problems. So taking that knowledge into consideration, I wanted to design something better, something more robust, something more functional too. Now, my solution was what's called the solar awning. So this is a 48 inch knife edge blade that extends right out, cantilevered across the edge of the living vehicle. This is that horizontal plane not only creates shade for all of the windows, the patio slider, and the entry door on the living vehicle, but also the top edge of that is completely covered edge to edge in solar panels. On that awning itself has over 1,200 watts of solar, so you can charge your LV energy system. Now underneath the awning is additional solar panels, so believe it, when you extend that awning out, you're revealing a second layer of solar. Now, Living Vehicle is fundamentally an electric product, so you are charging lithium batteries to power almost everything in the Living Vehicle from solar power wherever you travel. As long as the sun is out, you're generating solar power, thanks to that beautiful solar awning. Number three on this Living Vehicle review of the top 10 features is quality. Now, this is something that I have learned over many, many years in an industry that could be doing better is an understatement. Quality is something that I've always aspired to and in my business of Hoffman Architecture that I translated that into Living Vehicle. Quality is first and foremost what I wanted to create. So Living Vehicle is no exception and in our five years of being in existence, the quality of Living Vehicle is something that I am extremely proud of and I have never seen anything like this on the marketplace. I'll show you just a, a few areas where quality is just really stands out. Now take a look at this patio deck. You can see all of the CNC machined parts, all the pieces, the angles where things are put together, the amount, you know, just the size of the, of the angles. This is all aluminum. This is machine grade, machine milled aluminum. You can see all of the hardware here on this support cable. This is marine style hardware that's manufactured off site. You can see the the railing here, this is an industrial powder coated railing system with integrated mesh, the standards there. This is one of the areas that I'm extremely proud of. Take a look at these hatches. This is an automotive style hatch where you have locking mechanisms that are the type that you find on an SUV hatch. This is a standard automotive component where you also have a locking barrel here. Uh, these are also the, the seals on all of these hatches are dual seal doors. So you have a pressure equalization chamber here on the middle. So any water that penetrates past this first seal comes down and then drains out. So you have two seals on every one of these hatches. Come on inside with me and I'll take you through another little tour of what are some extremely high quality features. Another thing that I'm very proud about is the cabinetry. 
Now, in all my experience with recreational vehicles over the years, is what they typically use is either a light gauge wood or kind of a, um, a, a manufactured wood, or you have what's called a laminate. Now, laminate is it's a, a veneer product where you have either a, a very thin wood applied over a, an MDF, which is a medium density fiberboard, uh, which is completely filled with glues and all sorts of solvents there to create it. But that laminate applied over there needs more glue to apply. Now it's not, it's not truly wood, it's just made to look like wood, and it, it eventually falls apart. And that's why folks would want us to come and renovate their trailers, because a lot of their old products just kind of fell apart. So what we did is we set out to build something that not only used traditional, uh, not only went better than traditional kind of techniques of what in the industry they were doing, but we said, how can we build cabinetry that's purpose built for mobile use? Because every time folks are taking these trailers down the road, they're really just experiencing 8.0, 9.0 earthquakes at all times. And so we, sp we spent so much time designing an all aluminum cabinetry package specifically designed for mobile use. So take a look at some of the details on these cabinetry. All the cabinet doors have an integrated handle which goes side to side. This is a mill finish anodized aluminum, so it's that mill color. All the cabinetry is very thick aluminum gauge which is powder coated, so it's very durable. You all have all this, uh, it's a rubberized kind of little protect, protective barrier there on the bottom. And you can see all the rivets here, how it's put together. There's also two locking points to either side. Uh, one of our concepts here at Living Vehicles is to design with redundancy in mind. So we have a, cons uh, a saying where, where, uh, where two is one and one is none. Uh, redundancy is the plan for success. So having two locking points, if one does end up failing, you always have another so that when you're traveling down the road, the cabinet doesn't open and f all your stuff falls down onto the ground. You know, that was especially true in overhead cabinets where I had a lot of experience where overhead items would fall down onto the ground. Uh, we have shelves that are built in with lips, of course, and then we have multiple points where you can secure these shelves. They're not just sitting there with little, you know, those, those little 1 8 inch holes in the cabinet with these tiny little plastic or metal pieces holding up just a shelf that's sitting there. This is truly bolted in to the side of the, of the unit itself. Uh, all of this, you can see the details here, this is all either water cut or laser cut at a, at a factory, and the tolerance here is just phenomenal. So there's nothing here that you just see, it's built at a shop, you're just kind of thrown together. These are specifically built for mobile use, full piano hinge all the way across, and just the finish is just so beautiful. It, it really does look nice and elegant, a nice clean edge there for kind of protecting if you're gonna bump your head on there. Uh, so this is, this is taken from all of our experience and the cabinetry package really just does exemplify the quality at Living Vehicle. Number two in this top 10 list of items that make up a great living vehicle is what I'm calling four season capability. Now in all my experience with travel trailers, one thing that was severely lacking in all of my travels was the ability to go out in winter. Now by design, a lot of trailers tend to have exposed flaws or exposed weaknesses when it comes to traveling in snow. And that's because either the insulation isn't successful um, or there's details where air can get in, um, but probably the biggest factor is that in general, the, the connection point between exposed items that were full of either water or sensitive electronics were too close to exposed areas and there was no insulation in between those. Um, what I've done here at Living Vehicle is to design a, a space where the entire LV or Living Vehicle is basically an encapsulated egg product where um, there's insulation all the way around. Roof, you know, of course there's insulation all the way around, but the insulation is on the far side of all the systems that are typically under the, the trailer. Now what that means is that we've created what I call a conditioned basement. So there's a raised floor in living vehicle where on the far side we have insulation, then we have chassis, and then we have a space about 18 inches tall where we locate all of our electronics, all of our technology, all of the plumbing systems, the tanks, the hoses, all the plumbing lines, all that stuff lives within a conditioned space. Now we have air that's circulating mechanically through that space, uh, both naturally through the way that the, um, 
the, the basement is designed, but also the, when we have a, um, the system of heat, the heating system, it forces air up through the vents. Now that creates a negative pressure differential down in the basement, which draws cold air down into that basement, warming up that space and creates a warm floor. Now all of this coupled with other features, the great insulation design with all rigid closed cell foam insulation, dual pane windows and doors, and then some of the most amazing details that you're gonna find on a unit make this a true four season design. You have a lot of capacity from both the heat pumps, you also have uh, the 35,000 BTU furnace, and then a lot of air conditioning capacity with these roof mounted air conditioning units, two of them, comes as part of the four season package on LV. So if you're gonna build a living vehicle that's for full time use, you can't take your unit and put it in storage in the winter. It has to thrive in all seasons and that's what living vehicle does best. Number one on this living vehicle review of the top 10 best features is electricity. Living vehicle is fundamentally an electric powered vehicle and that is because we wanna live off grid completely self-sufficient and self-sustaining. Now we've designed LV to be powered by the sun. On this Pro EV model, we have over 3000 watts of solar mounted on the roof with the help of the solar awning. Now those thin film monocrystal and solar panels are pulling power every hour the sun is out into what I call the LV energy system. Now I've opened up this hatch which is underneath the floor of the kitchen to reveal over 57 kilowatt hours of batteries. The, in, the energy system in this is absolutely phenomenal. These are all lithium batteries with a very high energy density, extremely safe, extremely capable, and this is the foundation of the LV energy system that allows you to run off-grid indefinitely. So in normal solar conditions with typical use inside this LV, the Pro, a, the Pro EV model allows you to use every single piece of electrical equipment that includes air conditioners, that includes heating, that includes every outlet, every piece of electronic equipment can be run off the energy system. Now that is possible with significant inverter power. Almost 20 kilowatts of inverter power allows you to pull an exceptional amount of power out of the LV energy system at any given time. So this is the first and foremost benefit to living vehicle that allows you to be empowered by freedom to stay off grid, to go further than ever before, is an extremely capable energy system that lets you live completely free, off grid, away from RV parks. And that was the thing that we learned the most in all of our years in working with customers that wanted to get out there, explore, and live full time in their vehicles. This is why we created living vehicle is to be able to install something like this. And, uh, you know, I just really want to encourage you to take a look, you know, if you haven't uh, subscribed to Living Vehicle, we've moved uh, away from Hoffman Architecture, the channel. So I'll put it up right here. Um, subscribe to Living Vehicle and, uh, you know, head over there, go to livingvehicle.com. You can learn more about what it is we're up to and the many amazing things that we're, uh, we're trying to do. So, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry that I haven't been uh, available on the channel for the last five years or so, but I have been very active over on Living Vehicle. I uh, hope you follow along and uh, hope you have an amazing day.